All right, today is kind of exciting because I have an ear checkup appointment. And if you've been following for a while, you know I got ear surgery about six weeks ago. And in Hawaii, I haven't been able to swim. I haven't been able to get my ears wet because of my ear surgery. So today I have a little checkup. She's just gonna make sure my ears are good and hopefully I get the approval to swim. So I'm really excited. Yeah, it looks great so far. You just take a little bit of that soaker. Yeah. That is so awesome. <laughs> I know, I'm so, she said that my patch is falling off, so that's the crinkling I've been hearing. It's just the patch falling off. Oh, it's the best news, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's like just patch. not worth anything happening. So what's weird is your ears are having to equilibrate, which they haven't had to do. Yeah, right? Yeah. So. That's true. We just got home from Taylor's ear appointment, and honestly, I'm not kidding. I literally jumped up and down. <laughs> yeah, she was like jumping up and down. And I was because I've been so worried because I knew there was a small chance that, I mean, there is a chance that the graft wouldn't have taken, that for whatever reason, her eardrum, because there was so much scarring, would have just like not accepted the paper graft that it was. Yeah. Because like I'd heard some stats that if it's a paper graft, the odds aren't as likely that it's gonna work as if it's like a different type of graft. Mm -hmm. So I was just, really nervous because Taylor has been hearing some strange sounds and I was like oh no what if she can't get in the water for another six weeks in Hawaii and she flew all the way home for this appointment like what if so sad no. yeah so it was a really big deal and oh my gosh my heart is so grateful because <sighs> when Dr. Harris looked in her ears and said guess what like the graft look it went great what did she say there are no holes in either of your eardrums now yeah she said it just looks great and healed great it healed great so and there glad. is still the reason Taylor's been hearing some sounds is because she said the graft seeing how it is paper is kind of still hanging on mm -hmm. so I was like oh do you think that will so that's probably what was making like a crinkle noise in her ear but yeah. as soon as she's like in the ocean and like floating in the water and it might just that paper might just float away <laughs> and actually, actually when I said that, that you actually want the graft to fall out because like you're you know you want your skin at first yeah. I was like the graft is falling off and then I was like oh wait yeah that's good because that's what happens they put so there's a hole right and they put this it's called a graft it's a little paper graft uh, over the hole and the goal is and then I think they probably rough up around the edges. I'm not positive. I don't really know anything about this, but I'm assuming that your body probably naturally grows skin over that and then just heals the hole and it just follows the path of the paper. Yeah. You know, sort of like vines growing, how like you create a pathway for them to grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm just really, really, really grateful because it worked and now Taylor can get I in the can water. Swim like, in I'm so excited. She's had the surfboard like waiting. We bought a surfboard yeah, the first week we went. There. And it's just been sitting there waiting for her to be able to go. So your life is about to change. I know. I'm like, so excited. Because <laughs> the ocean is so healing, you guys. Like she's been able to get in, but to be able to fully like mm -hmm. enjoy the waves all the way up to, you know, there is some sad news. Taylor, tell them the bad news. I won't be able to cliff jump, which is really sad. There's this rock on Oahu. It's called like the Waimea Bay Rock. I mean, I'm sure it's called something else, but that's what everyone calls it. Yeah. And everyone jumps off. And finally, the water is high enough that you can jump off. But she told me no cliff jumping. So I won't be able to jump off mm. that or any cliffs for the rest of my life. Any like Lake Powell. But it's fine. I'm just, I'm grateful I'm, you know, healed. And yeah. I have ears. <laughs> and honestly, I'm so grateful for her advice and her expertise. Because the reason she tells, the doctor told Taylor, like, you can't cliff jump ever, probably. Is because she said she's actually had patients who they have done that. And it's perforated or caused a puncture in their eardrum. Mm -hmm. And I think that would only happen if you've had like multiple, I mean, Taylor's ear, I don't know if it's your eardrum or what it is, but there's been so much damage to it from all the ear tubes growing up that it's a really thin layer that's protecting her, her ear. So mm -hmm. she just, that's why. She's like, it just, it's not worth the risk really. Yeah, like it's it, not worth it. So we were sad about that, but then I was like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, like, it's not. Yeah. It's fine. It's definitely not worth like going through all the pain you've been through. Yeah, yeah. Again. So that's the moral of the story. We're just super grateful, super excited. And stay tuned because Taylor can hopefully send us some videos. <gasps> you could do underwater pictures now. I know, I'm we so excited. We gotta get you an underwater camera. I have one. We have a GoPro. Oh, boom. Okay, yeah. this is gonna be so cool. Stay tuned, Rad Swim. We're gonna post lots of cool Rad Swim pictures that Taylor takes. It's gonna be a dream. Can't wait. Now I'm thinking that we're gonna go for a walk outside because it's sunny mm -hmm. and Taylor usually calls me in Hawaii when she's on her walks and we're separated and we'll just talk while she's walking. But I think it'd be really special for us. Oh, you're like, oh no, oh. I'm not crying. So I'm oh, okay. I was like, oh, I was just thinking about it. No. I was just thinking like when we go for a walk together right now, it'll just be like this cool moment where we're here now together. 
together. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. Lexi's home, so she'll probably come. Yeah. And then we're gonna go do some shipping, but not Taylor. She's gonna have Boston, mm -hmm. and she's gonna vlog some of that because she's been hanging out with Boston a lot while she's been home, which has been so so fun. And yes, yeah, so I think it'd be fun to film a little bit of that. If you guys, I'm sure you know Brock and Boston. If you don't, make sure to check below. We'll add a link to their channel because they are so amazing. Bo um, Brock's on a mission. Boston's here right now, and he and Taylor are such good friends. They hang out a ton, mm -hmm. so that'll be fun to see whatever they do on their hangout. Yeah. And then we'll go I'm from excited. there. <laughs> yep. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, besties. School's out now and everybody is here, right? Is everybody here? Oh my gosh, everyone's here, including Skyly. Say hi to Sky. Everyone. Hi. So how are you? I'm amazing. How are you? As amazing oh, as ever. Skyly is my cute niece, London's cousin, but only London's cousin, nobody else's. I'm just kidding. Only London. Just kidding. And guess what? Boston's coming over right now. He is so nice, guys. He stopped to get some cream cheese for us because he was on his way over. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to get cream cheese for the soup that I made. So Taylor Wait, calls Boston. Oh my gosh. And look who just showed up. It's me. Boston. Oh my gosh. Come here. I got the cream cheese. You are so uh, best. Thank you so much. Good, how are you? you? Good to see Good. you. I was just telling the besties how we needed that cream cheese and how you stopped to get it. Yeah. That's the nicest I got thing it. ever. I the right kind. It's like the two stick or whatever. Oh, so. yes, that's perfect. You literally saved the day. There we go. If anyone needs cream cheese, just call Boston. <laughs> I made this chicken soup mixture in the Instant Pot. It probably doesn't look very good, but it's so good, you guys. I just have shredded chicken, garlic, onion, and then lots of really good spices like paprika and turmeric and cumin. And it's just like one of those things that in the winter when everyone's getting cold and getting sick, it can help you feel so good because it's got the bone broth and it has all those spices that are incredibly healing. But I like to make it creamy, so I was so sad to be out of cream cheese. I'm so glad we have cream cheese now. I'm gonna go ahead and just cream cheese it up. And then we like to put a little bit of, of avocado and cheese in it. You could put tortilla chips in it. It's just like a taco soup. So yeah, anyway, that's and And oh, we also have some tomatoes and chili peppers in it too because that makes it so good. You can buy those just in the can. So if you're wanting to make a really good soup like that, I can add a recipe below. Just let me know if you want it. You can just Google it too. Just Google taco soup and just put all the good spices in and all the garlic and I put ginger in too. Oh, it's so good. Okay, Lexi has her bestie with her at all times my and cat, all places. Girl. She's just the best. <laughs> I miss my cat so much. Oh, I, I bet haven't you seen do. that for like a month oh now. Oh my gosh, how are you holding out? That's gotta be so hard. I know, I'm like, isn't it so sad that well, like, when it you come is. back, it makes it so fun? Yes. Yeah. You just like miss your cats, it's weird. Totally. This girl remembered me, because she, she Of course really she did, remember. she would never forget you. Yeah, cats forget. don't forget. Yeah. They say elephants don't forget. Trust me, cats are even better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to have Brighton do an outfit haul for you, because I've been dying over her outfit. Will you use the outfit haul real quick, Brighton? Yes. Step into the so, light. So, I'm actually wearing like all three pieces. So we have this Free People shirt, these overalls from Free People, and then my necklace is from Free People, my earrings are from Xana, and then my shoes are Kansas. Like, just, you look so, are those um, heatless curls? Yeah, and these are heatless curls too. So. Wow, you're just growing up, and she's like tall right now, guys. Like, Brighton almost is as tall as me. I don't know what's going on, but she's breaking records. I'm growing. But, like, I just love these. Oh my gosh, yeah, sorry. cute stack. This, this necklace stack and these overalls are actually Taylor's, so. Yeah, so thanks to Taylor. Yeah. This outfit sure. is sponsored by Taylor. Sponsored by Taylor? Okay, let me shred some more. <laughs> We're just saying how the settings on this camera make our faces look like tanner than they actually are. Yeah. Um, anyways, we're here at Swig. If you know us, you know we're always at Swig. So we're just gonna pick up some Swig and then there's lots of I Love You and Rad Swim shipping to do, so we're gonna go help out with some shipping, which will be kind of fun. Wait. We got our Swig! I always just get sparkling water at Swig and the employees are sometimes like, you want just plain sparkling water, but it's because it's so Sometimes good. it tastes like battery. I'm like, at least add like a fresh <laughs> lime or something. I don't know, I just, I have an addiction to soda water, it's so bad. And it's funny because I have a friend that's an exchange student from Europe and she's like, I hate sparkling water. It's just so spicy. And I'm like, how? Like, I mean, she grew up in Europe where I feel like in Europe they always drink sparkling water, don't they? And that's actually where they do like Coke and lime, like Diet Coke and lime. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. I think oh. that's like where it originally from. Oh, so. well, anyways, me and my soda water addiction. All right, we're at the warehouse. 
getting some shipping done. Uh, well, actually, Boston and I aren't doing any shipping. It's mostly just Emily and Mindy and Lexi and Brian. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, how are the pictures turning out? Good. Well, we've only taken look how, one, look, but. Literally, this camera with the flash is so cool. Oh, that Maybe turned out should. so cute. Was that a firework? Fourth of July. Wait. <laughs> Hey, look. Oh, <laughs> that's a sick. I couldn't tell, but it just looks like. Oh, a that like looks so good. Boston, you're getting one of these. Wait, no, They're let's get one together. So we'll get good. one together. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. One, let me film two. One, two, three. Okay, Boston and I came to Chom Burger to get food, and we accidentally forgot to film our food. Yeah. We just devoured it. It was so yummy. <laughs> okay, we discovered that Brighton has a super hidden talent. No. Um. Just yes. in case. <laughs> and, Hey guys, you've never, have you ever seen someone um, do Irish Wait, dancing this good? Guess what, my friend, you? you guys, my friend Marie took Irish dancing lessons. A girl and my grade's actually going to like Olympics for Irish dancing. I'm are you something. serious? No, we did an Irish dancer dance company once. No, nope. And it was like, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. yeah, here you go, Brian. Shoes on. That's what you need. Taylor and Lexi and Brighton all went to a movie. They went to go see Dune 2. And I I'm left here with these shenanigans. That's the third thing they've done without me. Oh, I'm sorry, London. I, I don't think they meant it to leave you out or anything. It was going to be Taylor and her friend Lindsay, and then it just kind of Lexi came, and then Brighton wanted to come, and then I'm sorry, London. But at least you were Skyly. <laughs> this is a Piper side. Okay, this. Cover it, cover this side up. Forget about that weird splotch. <laughs> I did well. So yeah, they were testing out two different styles. I look like No, we were <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So which side do you guys like better? No, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't see that one. Okay, so which side do you guys like better? It's definitely this one. <laughs> this one's so orange. Like, look, look at this line. What is anyway, everyone right. we get the point. <laughs> So now I'm just left with these shenanigans. What am I gonna I do? I also need her hair. Oh, and yeah. Pretty, Beautiful. Oh, pretty, right? I Gorgeous. Know. If you need hair, call me. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm so tired too, but love you guys so much. Mm. Thank you so much. Oh, for no. Yes, I'm letting my daughter no. eat no. It's 11 p.m. You later. didn't let me. I just took it and started tugging it. Good point. I did not let her. For the record, I did not let her. This is. For the record. But honestly, she's letting your daughter fall asleep. I'm getting nervous. I'll keep her up with this face. I don't even know what's gonna happen right now. I'm so nervous. <sighs> Energy burst. No, that was weird. Know. Take that out. How are you gonna fall asleep? <laughs> Did I blow your mind? <laughs> we'll leave the besties with this. Ready and yeah, all right, besties. We love you so much. We hope you had the I best day, and we'll see you next time. It's happening on the show. <laughs>